नमस्कार वेलकम टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द पास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स पर्टिकुलर थंडर स्टम एक पॉइंट विथ स्क्वाली गस्टिंग स्पीड रिचिंग सिक्सटी टू नाइन्टी किलोमीटर अब्जर्व ओवर हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड वेस्ट मध्य प्रदेश आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स एपार्ट फ्रम दैट सेभराल पार्टस अफ साउथ साउदार्न पेनिनसुलार इंडिया एंड अल्सो इस्टर्न पके इस्टर्न इंडिया एज वेल एज नर्थ इस्ट इंडिया उइटनेस थंडर स्टम लाइटनिंग गस्टिंग स्पीड रिचिंग फोर्टी टू सिक्सटी कैंपेज If you talk about the past 24 hours rainfall, particularly Meghalaya uh, and isolated pockets of Meghalaya received extremely heavy rainfall, and a very heavy rainfall witnessed over South Himalaya, West Bengal, and Sikkim, and heavy rainfall observed over particularly Madhya Maharashtra, Kerala, uh, and Telangana and interior Karnataka. If you talk about the weather systems in particular, uh, uh, the yesterday's uh, western disturbance now seen as a uh, ट्रप इलाफ्ट इन मिडिल एंड अपर ट्रपिक बुस्टेज विथ इज एक्सिस एट फाइव पॉइंट एट किलोमीटर एब मिनसी लेवल एपार्ट फ्रम दैट इफ यू टक अबाउट द सैक्लोनिक सर्कुलेसन वन सैक्लोनिक सर्कुलेसन लोअर ट्रपोस्पेक्ट लेवल अब्जर्व उत्तराखंड अनदार ओवर इस्ट बिहार एड जयनिंग सब हिमालय वेस्ट बेंगल एपार्ट फ्रम दैट ओवर नर्थ इस्ट इंडिया नर्थ इस्ट आसाम एंड नेबरहुड अल्सो ओवर गुजरात स्टेट सैक्लोनिक सर्कुलेसन ओवर अब्जर्व इन लोअर एंड मिडिल ट्रपोस्पेक्ट लेवल इफ यू टक अबाउट पर्टिकुलाली ओवर द कंकन एंड अनदार लोअर सैक्लोनिक सर्कुलेसन अब्जर्व ओवर इन लोअर ट्रपोस्पेक्ट लेवल एपार्ट फ्रम दैट ओवर एस्टेड एस cyclonic circulation over andaman sea that is persist and now extends up to mid uh, lower tropospheric levels apart from that uh, 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 cyclonic circulation today uh, lies over southwest bay of bengal adjoining tamil nadu in lower tropospheric le a trough particularly north south trough that runs from uh, the cyclonic circulation over east bihar to north royal sound across uh, south chatisgarh uh, also jharkhand vidarbha and telangana in lower tropospheric levels because of these systems we are anticipating uh, this rainfall activity over particular northeast india southern peninsula india likely to continue over for next to 5 days particularly during next 3 to 4, four days we are uh, anticipating isolated heavy rainfall very likely over andhra pradesh karnataka kerala and tamil nadu apart from that heavy to very heavy rainfall with isolated extremely heavy rainfall likely over northeast india during next 5 days over south and south west bengal during next 3 days if you talk about the heat wave particularly for the uttar pradesh we are anticipating that a uh, heat wave condition likely over east and west uttar pradesh during 15 to 18 for over particularly west rajasthan during 15 to 17th may 2025 If you talk about the temperature, uh, particularly over the North East India, there there will be gradual rise in maximum temperature by three degree during next four days, and afterwards it will be fall by two to three degree during subsequent three days. For East India, there will be no large change in maximum temperature during next three days. However, it will fall by uh, by two to three degree after the subsequent three days. Talk about the Gujarat state, there will be rise by two to four degree in coming four days and no large change thereafter. Remaining parts of the country, particularly Maharashtra, so Southern Peninsula India, North East India, due to ongoing th- Under summer, there will be no large change in maximum temperature in coming days. If you talk about the alert, particularly for a day one during next 24 hours, we are anticipating maximum impact will be over the northeast India, particularly Meghalaya region, likely to get isolated, uh, extremely heavy rainfall along with. Uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall at a few places and uh, thunderstorm lightning gusty wind speed reaching 40 to 50 at isolated pockets so in my low west bengal arunachal pradesh also likely to get heavy to very heavy rainfall that rainfall amounting 7 to 20 cm likely at isolated pockets also there is a possibility of uh, th- heavy rainfall over tripura if you talk about southern india particularly uh, kerala uh, tamil nadu also interior karnataka apart from that Uh, Madhya Maharashtra likely to get isolated heavy rainfall activity. Looking to that, this aspect and a thunderstorm uh, which must even speed reaching 50 to 60. Orange alert has been issued, uh, particularly Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Telangana, interior Karnataka, Madhya Maharashtra. Uh, uh, they are under uh, orange alert. You also, warm night condition for looking into the warm night condition for day one, day two. Yellow alert has been issued for the east Madhya Pradesh. Thunderstorm lightning gusty wind, particularly for northwest India, Rajasthan, and Haryana, likely to get during next 24 hours. Adjoining central India, particularly Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat, also likely to get thunderstorm lightning gusty wind during next 24 hours. For day two, particularly the thunderstorm lightning gusty wind over northeast India. Likely to continue, and there is also possibility of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall over Assam Meghalaya region. Also heavy rainfall, particularly Tripura, Arunachal Pradesh, and South Himalaya. Apart from that, uh, particularly Madhya Maharashtra, interior Karnataka, uh, Tamil Nadu, and uh, as well as uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh, there is likely possibility of isolated heavy rainfall activity. And uh, looking into thunder, acti- intense thunderstorm activity, orange alert has been issued, particularly for the Madhya Maharashtra region, as well as. 
Telangana and Chhattisgarh. Heat wave condition likely to develop particularly over the east Uttar Pradesh as well as west uh, uh, Rajasthan for day 2 that is from 15th and this is likely to continue for next 2-3 to three days and uh, thunderstorm activity particularly over the eastern pockets uh, continue and northeast as well for the day 3 as well but heavy to very heavy rainfall activity particularly in Assam Meghalaya continue for the uh, day 3. If you talk about heavy rainfall, particularly for the southern peninsula like Royal Sima, Tamil Nadu, and uh, the uh, north interior Karnataka, likely to get isolated heavy rainfall as well as, as, well as uh, South Himalaya, West Bengal, and uh, Arunachal Pradesh, likely to get isolated. Heavy. For day 4, uh, there's uh, rainfall activity likely to continue over northeast India, and there is possibility heavy rainfall, particularly uh, Masa Meghala and Arunachal Pradesh, including South Himalaya and West Bengal. Apart from that, there is also heavy rain possibility over. Uh, north interregional. If you talk about thunderstorm activity, that is continue over the uh, eastern pack, East India as well as North East India, uh, Central India, and some pockets of uh, southern peninsula India. But heat wave condition likely over, uh, uh, particularly over the uh, Uttar Pradesh and uh, West Rajasthan, um, likely to continue. And for the from 18th, there is a possibility of isolated thunderstorm activity, particularly of the Haryana, Punjab, also Jammu Kashmir region. And uh, apart from that, the East India thunderstorm activity likely to continue for the day 5 as well. And heavy rainfall possibility is there in interior Karnataka, also Royal Sima and Kerala. Apart from that, for Northeast India, particularly Assam, Meghalaya and Arunachal is likely to get isolated heavy rainfall. If you talk about the uh, day 6, day 7, that is 19th and 20th, this is the possibility of isolated heavy rainfall activity, particularly over Kerala region uh, for both the days, uh, thunderstorm lightning gust in. Uh, particularly likely, very likely over uh, western Himalayas and some plains area of uh, northwest India, particularly uh, Punjab and Haryana, also east Uttar Pradesh on 19th and there is a possibility of isolated thunderstorm activity, particularly over the uh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand also over Punjab and Haryana. Regarding the advance of southwest monsoon, the conditions are favorable for further advance of southwest monsoon over some parts of South Arabian Sea, Maldives, Comorine area, some more parts of South Bay of Bengal, entire Andaman, Nicobar Island, remaining parts of Andaman Sea, and some parts of Central Bay of Bengal during next two to three days. And uh, the northern limits continue to pass over the same area that passed over the last 24 hours. If you for detailed information, you can follow us in social media in uh, our directly login to the website mosom.imd.gov.in. Also, you can follow us in social media platform X, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Thank you. Namaskar.